be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over um, three tips you can use to actually make banging beats in Logic Pro 10.8. So let's go ahead and go over that. Now, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is called something, I mean, simplicity. So keeping things simple. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Like all producers have to come over, go ahead and check themselves on on the um, simplicity aspect of things because we all are super creative. And we want to add as much as possible, but sometimes it's literally better to not add it, add a whole lot of stuff to the beat. So I have this beat right here. Outside of this tag, really, you know, I don't. I only have five tracks on here. If you actually do like listening exercises, and when I say listening exercises, I mean just start listening to some of the hit music that you do that's out there or some of the music from the past and it's like pay attention to like how many instruments are in the actual beat pay attention to what type of instruments they are you're gonna start seeing and start noticing that most tracks um have between five and like eight you know tracks um individual tracks in a beat um like a hit song you know what i mean it might be like a sample like i have here um like a basic kick drum snare bass you know it's just like real simple and so i wanted to just like play some of this beat i'm just really gonna play like the intro the hook and a little bit of the verse and just kind of see how simple and simplistic the beat is but it still bangs because it gives a whole lot of room for an artist to jump on here um literally i only have um really this is just one sample that i just pitched up and down so i have like a the normal uh version of the sample and then i also have like a pitched up like an octave version of the sample then i have an 808 and then rim shot and a ha uh, hi-hat so let's just go uh, listen to this and then we'll go over the last two uh tips as far as like you know making banging beats All right, so that's the beat. As you can see, it's a pretty dope beat. Um, one thing that made this beat pretty hard, in my opinion, and which was gonna be like our number two thing, is sound selection. So we got simplicity, keeping things simple, maybe not using this many tracks, but then the second thing is gonna be um, sound selection. So let's just look at this sample, just picking out the right type of uh, sample here. If I just play this by itself, it's a pretty hard sample. And um, I deleted like the, the, the previous steps before this, but pretty much what I did to make this sample um, is I, as I came in and I found a loop, I brought it in um, and I brought it into the quick sampler. Okay, once I brought it into the quick sampler, I reversed it, you know what I'm saying? And then I, uh, I also put like a the beat breaker plugin on there. So this is what the beat break beat breaker plugin looks like. And then I played around with it, you know, to add some like little variations, like little stutter steps. And then when like when I reversed when I reversed it, I came up with this. You can kind of hear the stutter steps in there. But anyway, we also have some good like drum sounds. Like this is a pretty solid drum sound. And then I made it knock by coming in here uh, with the quick sampler and just turning this up all the way up to plus six dB. And I turned on this filter, pushed up the drive on that. So the sound selection on this 808 was pretty nice because like that kind of uh, drove the whole beat between that and the sample for real, for real. And then, you know, I have this uh, rim shot that's a pretty solid um, sound. What I also did with that just to make sure that, that sound selection was super fire 
was I added a little bit of reverb, not too much, but you'll hear it. And that really helped out with everything. And of course, that's like a real solid hi-hat sound. Um, but for the most part, y'all, you know, the sound selection was on point. In my personal opinion, y'all can let me know in the uh, section below. But um, outside of that, man, the last step as far as making bangers is just to go ahead and finish the beat, man. Like, I know that sounds funny, but, you know, you want to keep things simple, sound selection, and actually finish the beat. Because, you know, there's a lot of times with producers, we don't even, you know, finish uh, the beat when i say finish it i mean arrange it and put it out there you feel me so that's going to be the three steps to making bangers in logic pro 10.8 man make sure that you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching the video and also head over to my site beatmakingbasis.com and we got some dope courses there for you sound kits drum kits everything like that man let me know what y'all think in this section below and i appreciate y'all i'll see you in the next one Kaya got another one.